The Maya number system originated in Mesoamerica and was used by the Maya civilization during the Classic period, 250 to 900 CE. The Mayans relied on just three simple symbols to represent every number you can imagine. A shell for zero, a dot for one, a bar for five. These symbols may have been inspired by everyday objects, seashells for zero, pebbles for dots, and sticks for bars. Unlike Roman numerals, the Maya system had two groundbreaking features. A symbol for zero, one of the earliest in human history, a place value system, similar in concept to our modern decimal system. The Maya used a base 20 system, vigesimal, likely connected to the total count of fingers and toes. The number five also carried symbolic meaning because of the hand's five fingers. Here are Maya and Roman numerals side by side for zero to 50. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, 1,905 in Maya numerals looks like this. Four dots in 20, 20 row. Three bars in 20s row and a bar in bottom row. Five million can also be represented as a bar in the sixth row, showing the power of their positional system. Simple operations like addition and subtraction were systematic and clear. For example, 24 plus 17 and 42 minus 15. Before the calculations, it's important to understand these simple rules. One, a dot is equal to one. Two, five dots is equal to one bar. Three, four bars is equal to one dot carried to the next, 20s place. Four, bottom row is equal to ones. Row above are 20s. 24 is one dot in the 20s row. Four dots in the bottom row. 17 is three bars plus two dots in the bottom row. First step is to pull the symbols together in one column which gives six dots and three bars in the bottom row, and one dot in twenties row. Next, convert five dots to one bar, making it four bars and one dot in the bottom row. Then four bars, which is twenty, is converted to a dot which is shifted to the twenties row. The sum of the twenty-four and seventeen therefore is two twenties and one ones. To subtract fifteen from forty-two, 42 is two dots in the twenties row, two dots in the ones row, and 15 is three bars in the ones row, zero in the twenties row. Therefore, three bars in the ones row is needed to do the subtraction. So borrow a dot from the twenties row and convert it to four bars in the ones row, giving a total of two dots and four bar in bottom row. Then subtract 15 by canceling three bars, leaving one bar and two dots in the bottom row, and only one dot remains in the twenties row. Therefore, 42 minus 15 in Maya becomes 120s, one bar and two dots in the ones row. The Maya number system is truly remarkable. Its method of calculation is systematic and logical, making both simple arithmetic and very large numbers easy to handle. Unlike many other ancient numeral systems, the Maya introduced the concept of zero as a true digit, and they built their entire system on a positional place value structure. This gave them a level of mathematical sophistication far ahead of their time. With just three simple symbols, the shell, the dot, and the bar, they could represent numbers in the millions, perform complex calculations, and even develop an advanced calendar system. The genius of the Maya number system lies in its simplicity, elegance, and its lasting influence on how we understand numbers today.